Madam Deputy President, reflecting on the most important on the most important aspect of public confidence. The first matter I'd like to turn to is the recent election. This week I've tabled a motion to establish a joint select committee to inquire into the 2021 state election and 2021 legislative council elections and matters related thereto. Elections are a fundamental right of the citizens of Tasmania. They are vital, it is vital that public confidence in the conduct of elections is maintained. Parliament can and indeed must play a key role in maintaining that confidence. In other jurisdictions, this is undertaken through the routine practice of conducting a parliamentary review or inquiry after each election. For example, the Federal Parliament has a joint standing committee on electoral matters, which undertakes a routine inquiry after each federal election. Members from all parties, including the government, participate freely and openly in that inquiry and as members of that committee. The inquiry that I propose will deliver a general review, review of the administration of the 2021 elections. As distinct, I would point out, from the outcome of those elections, which are not part of the inquiry. It's in the public interests as an important opportunity to deliver increased public confidence and to strengthen our democracy, and it should be a routine priority for this parliament to give this sort of matter due consideration as a matter of course. We know that a range of serious and significant concerns have been raised by both political and community stakeholders about the recently held state and legislative council elections. These concern, concerns have included, but are not limited to, the, legit the, the legitimacy of the rationale for calling an early election, concerns over breaches of the caretaker conventions, issues with the pre-selection and subsequent re resignation of Adam Brooks in the seat of Braddon, concerns over potential voter disenfranchisement due to the apparent failure to provide Legislative Council ballot papers at all voting booths, and significantly for this chamber, numerous concerns with the appropriateness and the impact of holding concurrent elections with the State and Legislative Council elections run on the same day. The only appropriate and accountable mechanism to examine the many and varied concerns raised is a parliamentary inquiry with a broad and open terms of reference, which is what I've proposed. I believe it's particularly important for our parliament to show leadership and accountability on this, given the fact we have now experienced two state elections in a row that have given rise to community questions, concerns and prompted a diminishment of confidence in our democracy amongst Tasmanian citizens. It's very much appropriate for the 50th Parliament to examine the nature and circumstances of its formation and to provide the Tasmanian people with confidence in the electoral process. I hope to have the support of colleagues in this place to progress the establishment of the Joint House Select <coughs> Committee for this purpose. And I look forward to speaking in more detail on this when we debate the motion.